Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge Factor. Today we are going to start a tutorial on Oracle application R12 version and here we will be mainly focusing on the inventory module as we know there are many modules in Oracle application but the key module uh, where the fulfillment of the organization's business happen is the Oracle inventory. So we will be mainly talking about the Oracle inventory, the setups and all kind of transactions we can do in Oracle inventory. So let's start with the uh, basic understanding on how it, it, it is structured. So an inventory organization which uh, is a facility where you store and transact items. So the physical items are being stored in an Oracle inventory and before you can use Oracle inventory you must define one or more inventory organization in Oracle. So inventory organization represent different entities in our enterprise and can be one of the following like a physical entity such as a manufacturing facility or a warehouse or a distribution center from where we can distribute the finished good items to other customers and the second type of inventory organization in oracle is a logical like a master organization where we we define item uh, primarily in the master org and there are many my item attributes which can be con um, controlled at the org level so uh, that th that's the two kind of inventory of one is the physical and one is the logical so an inventory organization can have its own location ledger costing method calendars and items so these all are uh, multi uh, dimensional attributes which we will uh, work on on the, on the application and uh, also one more thing I would like to inform you that uh, this tutorial will be only focusing on the application so all the uh, things which we will talk here we will do that exercise on the application as well so let's start with the uh, basic understanding on the structure how it is uh, structured in the business uh, language so Let's start with so this is the inventory on which we are starting our discussion and so the first of all comes the organization definition part. So organization definition so it's a multi-org structure uh, Oracle supports multi-org structure so the first comes the business group this is nothing but uh, we call it in Oracle space as BG and then comes the legal entity then comes the operating unit Then comes the, uh, the the thing which I spoke in early like the uh, logical organization which is nothing but the item master org. And then comes the physical inventory organization. Then comes the sub inventory and finally the locator. So this is how the structure of the uh, inventory part and here as we can see that there as we know there are many modules in Oracle application so different different modules sit on different different levels of the uh, structures like in the business group mainly the HRMS and the <coughs> sorry, inventory part sets 
let's say the HRMS and inventory sit at the business group level then comes the legal entity so before legal entity there is one more uh, uh, stage you can say it as a general ledger so this is nothing but the uh, financial books of the uh, organization sits here so financial uh, books uh, of the organization so whatever the financial transaction is happening in the organization all is following this financial group so uh, this is a uh, comes under coming under the general ledger then the legal entity comes then the operating unit so operating unit uh, comprises of uh, four uh, four modules like uh, purchasing module uh, om module account payable and account receivable so these are the four modules which are taken care under the operating units so that the whatever transaction is happening so at the at any point of time we can take out the pnl statement or any other reporting at the ou level that that's the uh, understanding over here and then comes the item master of so all the items which ever we are having whether it's an expense kind of item or it's an asset kind of item all are being created under the item master of so in case you want one item to have two different attribute two kinds of attributes in different organization so they can be controlled in the organization level but in the master org level all the items will be having the same kind of attributes so that you should you should that's the understanding that uh, if three organization you are having and three organization is having a same item but uh, all the three organization needs the different different attributes for that item so so you should not create three items independently but you should create one item that's the master in the master organization that's the master copy and that can be assigned to all the inventory organization you are having and you can change their attributes as per your uh, need then comes the inventory organization inventory organization is the place where we do all the transactions all the fulfillment from the order management part happens here then comes the sub inventory sub inventory is the part where uh, we are keeping the item we are locating the item which are coming into our inventory so we are locating that item into the sub inventory and the lower most level is the locator it's a three segment structure like uh, we call it as row rack structure so uh, this is the uh, understanding that in the row rack, rack bin uh, segment it uh, we keep the items so once this definition part is completed then we comes to the transaction part so there are few transactions happen under the inventory which we say as a inventory transaction so under inventory transaction there can be a sub inventory transfer which is very common the second kind of transaction is the move order transaction and the third one we can say as the inter order transaction so these two transactions the sub inventory and the move order transactions are happening inside then inside the inventory of but this inter org transfer is <coughs> across the organization so this is the difference between these three of the transactions what we are happening here and then comes the planning so there is an inventory planning which happens so under inventory planning there are uh, three or three kinds of inventory planning uh, is given by the oracle 
or one is the replenishment planning second one is mean max planning which is very common and the third one is the kanban planning so these are the three plannings by which we do the replace the replenishment of <coughs> the item into into our inventory organization and the next thing comes is the inventory maintenance So inventory maintenance can be done by doing the cycle count of the physical inventory what we are holding so the cycle count and cycle count happens on the basis of ABC classes so ABC classes is a well known um, terminology which segregates all the inventory into two or three or four or however whatever the need we are having in that way we can segregate all the items and on the basis of the uh, on the basis of uh, like the higher value items or the lower value items or medium value items we can do the cycle count frequently or less frequently so uh, this this way we can maintain an inventory So as we talk that the at here the organization uh, set up like how it has been structured in the multi org manner. So there are few uh, benefits of this multi organization structure. It enables you to model multiple business units in an enterprise using a single installation of Oracle application and also in the multi organization architecture you can keep uh, data secure and separate from each business unit so there is uh, no uh, commingling of the data in between the business unit uh, all the transactions irrespective of the business units are separate and the uh, benefits of the multi organization structure are uh, like we can use a single installation of any oracle application product to support n number of business units even if those business units use a different general ledger or the financial book and the uh, data is secure here and we can define an organization model that best suits our business requirement and we can fulfill any sales order or purchase order regardless of them being booked from any inventory organization so r12 version r12 release which came uh, in oracle ebs it brings the moac uh, moac is the feature multi org access control where you can uh, access any of the uh, business units or the operating units uh, data without changing the responsibility to so as we move further we will uh, i will show you how that feature is uh, bringing so much difference as compared to the 11i version of oracle application so thanks for watching this uh, this was the quick uh, uh, overview on the organizational structure and what what all we are going to take care on this module tutorial so from the next uh, next video we will start working on the application and we will do some exercise to do the setups related to inventory organization operating units and 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 do the transactions on the basis of the uh, data we are having so thanks for watching do subscribe my channel so that you can uh, be on the loop of this in tutorial for inventory organize inventory module or application thank you